this accident should look familiar. We're finally getting to the point where the accidents that we have gone over previously are now coming back on the NTSB final reports. So this one was from July 26, if you remember, the Haviland DHC2, uh, November 9776 Romeo. There was two serious, four minor, and one that was not injured at all. So let's check it out. So the analysis of that was the pilot reported that he was departing in a float equipped airplane in strong gusty wind conditions. After accelerating on the water for about 3 seconds, the airplane suddenly became airborne and crabbed into the wind about 60 to 90 degrees from the intended takeoff path, started to climb and continued to track away from the intended flight path. As the climb continued, the airplane stalled and impact the water in a nose low attitude, which resulted in substantial damage to the wings and fuselage. The pilot reported that there was no uh, pre-accident mechanical malfunctions or anomalies that would have precluded normal operation. So this is them when they investigate it and take the aircraft into the hangar here. Really take a look at the engine. They'll probably bring in... Uh, people that are experts in this specific engine here to see if had an, if it was the engine that had anything to do with it. They're going to look at the pilot's records. Um, so this is the pilot's information here. 41-year-old male. The aircraft. Here's all the flight time. 1,709. Medical exam was December 28th, 2021. So they're just going to check, see if there's any medical problems that could have caused it. But it's very, uh, I think this came back so quickly because of the video evidence. The video evidence makes it real easy for the investigators to figure out what happened. Also, the pilot survived. So there you can see wind speed was 10 to 16 knots at the time. But the pilot's uh, interview also gives them a lot of um, information. And then I like reading the comments from, this was from July, from the original video and what people thought. So some people thought it was a classic uh, stall spin crash. And then, you know, that's why I like the comments because we can always check what NTSB has to say, you know, eventually anyway. So some speculation early on, but probable cause was the pilot's failure to maintain directional control during takeoff in gusty wind conditions which resulted in the wing exceeding its critical angle of attack a loss of control and impact with water so glad the pilot survived i know there was injuries for the some people on board if you want to catch that original video i made back in july you can watch it here or in the comments below please subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time